ISIL was forced out of Kayara. But following two years of rule, not much was left behind. The town seems almost deserted, with destroyed buildings, burned cars, crumbling satellite dishes on the streets. However, the most disturbing sight, a killed ISIL fighter's skull on a stick in the middle of the road. As Iraqi forces clear the area, they find plenty of ammunition as well. Carefully, all is taken to custody. But the ultimate brutality of ISIL can be seen in their prisons. These red doors open to ISIL prison cells that have no windows. It's not possible for an adult to stand up straight, let alone walk within the cell. Residents of the town say many were taken and never heard of again. If someone says this person is spying or they say we have received intelligence that you want to flee and because it's a matter of security, they don't accept any arguments. You don't know where you are going or whether you'll come back. Your family doesn't know where you are. No one knows where you are. This man tells us he was once a prisoner within these walls. They arrested me and brought me here because I was selling cigarettes. I was lashed 50 times with a stick as punishment. I stayed in this prison for 12 days. Women walking alone were also punished. Those who lived under ISIL rule have many stories to tell of street executions, beatings and rape, all known to be methods used by ISIL. Although the citizens of Kayar are relieved to have been freed from ISIL, the impact of being terrorized will likely last for a while longer. Michal Bardavid, CCTV News.